Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Low Heat. Today we're looking at the newly released contact instrument by Native Instruments called Prime Bass, which is a very, very realistic bass guitar instrument. You can check it out from the link down in the description as always, and let's get into it and find out more about it. Prime Bass is a very, very detailed and very authentic sounding instrument. It captures the essential low end tone of an iconic single coil electric bass guitar. It has over 350 playable patterns and phrases across a range of genres. And it actually consists of two instruments. One is called the regular prime bass and one is prime bass melody. So one of these can be used for playing your own melodies on the keyboard. This is the melody instrument and the other one is only limited to using the pre-built patterns, but these are very good and you have a lot of control over these patterns. And this instrument captures the sound of an original 1981 Cherry Sunburst solid body bass guitar built in the USA. And people who are into guitars probably know which guitar they are talking about. This instrument is also packed with plenty of features. This page that we're looking at now is all about the patterns that this so-called bass guitarist plays. On the second page you have the settings for the actual bass tone. You can drive, change the tone, you can enable or disable two mics that capture the actual guitar and a lot of other settings including how well the guitar is tuned and all this kind of stuff. We have this third page where we have amps and effects, all kinds of effects and the actual amps, it actually uses two newly added amps to contact. Actually, you'll need to update your contact to version 6.7, which was just released. And as a side note, this one is also M1 compatible. It has native compatibility with Apple Silicon. And on the playback page, you can actually customize the performance, how, how quantized it is, how human it is, add swing, change the feel of the playing, shift it backwards and forwards so, we can, so it can line up better with your drums very very comprehensive options to customize it's like having a virtual bass player in your DAW and the actual sample library that this instrument uses is not the tiniest it is about 10 gigabytes let's start by playing a couple of sounds So you can see I just hit an out on my keyboard and it plays a whole pattern. And so if you have a complete control keyboard, the light guide can help you switch some articulations and add some slides and some endings to the notes or switch patterns. So the first four keys, the yellow ones are the articulations. The four red ones are the patterns and you can see the same thing here on the screen. When you click this keyboard icon, this section appears and also we have some endings such as slides or this dead note. So the melody instrument, you need to hold down these red keys in order to play the pattern. So if I'm not holding down the keys, I play. If I hold it down, the virtual bassist, so to speak, plays the patterns. Let's switch to open. And vibrato. When we do that, you can hear the scratching. Let's try another pro funky boots. Switch to open. You 
And so if you load the regular prime bass, not the melody, let's load one of those. Ooh, Neo Funk. You don't need to hold down the red keys in order to have the pattern playing, you just switch the patterns by pressing the key once. And with this sound preset button you, you can change just the sound preset without changing the actual patterns that go with the preset. So we got solid EQ on the amps and effects page and we can just bump up the bass a bit. Is it too much bass? I don't mind even if it is. I really like this instrument sounds really cool never really thought that I would need an incredibly realistic bass guitar but it turns out I did okay so let's stop messing around and just make an actual beat with this instrument I appreciate you watching the video guys, drop a comment and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in the next video.